Hi, I'm Kat. Hi, I'm Nick. This sleepy guy is Pancho. <laughs> And this video is a collaboration between our two channels on how to make DIY dog costumes just in time for Halloween. For the first costume, you'll need some stiff white felt, Fabri-Tac glue, measuring tape, Velcro, scissors, stuffed dogs, and optionally chalk pastels and hairspray. Start by taking off any little details or accessories that are on the stuffed dogs, and ideally you'll want them to be pretty close to the size of the actual dog you're making the costume for. Then cut off their heads. There's really no nice way to say that. Just chop them on off. Try and get a bit of the shoulders and back in there as well so they have a little bit of a neck. And do the exact same thing with the other one. Then cut a strip of your white felt. It shouldn't be any wider than the dog's neck is long because you want it to fit comfortably around the dog's neck and make sure it's long enough to overlap a little bit for your Velcro. If it's not quite long enough, you can glue two pieces together to fit around the dog's neck. And now that you know exactly where the dog heads need to be on the collar, you can glue them in place with copious amounts of Fabri-Tac. You do want a really generous amount on this because it's going to be quite a bit of weight on the felt and the Fabri-Tac will need to be really thick to hold it in place. Once you've got a good amount of glue on there, press it firmly into place and do the same thing with the other head as well. And then you can start adding your Velcro to the ends of the neck band. Just cut a piece to fit across and glue it into place. I like to do two pieces on each end and you'll want to make sure that you do each type on opposite sides. So one side will have hooks and one side will have loops. We'll want to make sure that you do one side facing up and one side facing down. Otherwise your Velcro won't actually stick. Give the Velcro some time to dry, and while you're doing that, if you need to change the color of the stuffed dogs, this is how you'll do that. Simply take some chalk pastel and rub it over the areas where you want to create patterns or change the color. And you can even use more than one color if you want to do some shading. Just have fun with it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then seal it with some hairspray. I'm just using some cheap old hairspray for this and leave it there to set for a little while and dry and that's all there is to that costume. And I think this one turned out pretty funny. The dog heads look really sad compared to Pancho, but I like how this one turned out and I think it's hilarious. He didn't really like it quite as much as we did, but that's okay because he got a treat. For the next one, you'll need some taco shell colored felt, meat, lettuce, tomato, and cheese colored felt, Fabri-Tac, scissors, measuring tape, and Velcro. Begin by taking your taco shell colored felt and cutting one piece lengthwise down the middle, so that way you have two pieces that are going to form the band that goes around the belly. Measure around the dog's belly and then add two inches to that measurement so that you have an area underneath that can overlap for the Velcro. Measure it to that length and overlap the two pieces so that when you glue them together, they equal the right length. If you actually have a really tiny dog, you may not need to overlap any. And if you have a larger dog, you can make the overlap a little more narrow so that you have a wider waistband. You can cut off any excess if you don't like the way it looks. And then glue on your Velcro. Again, make sure you use one side for your loops and the other side for your hooks. And do one side facing up and one side facing down so that when you go to put the belly band on the dog, the Velcro can actually adhere to one another. And once you've glued those in place, press them firmly and then set that band aside to dry. Next, you'll want to cut the shape of your tacos out of two pieces of felt laying one on top of the other. I just cut up to the apex of the curve and then folded the other side over so I could follow that curve and make it symmetrical. And once you cut that, you already have both sides of your taco shell done. Next, set your taco shell onto your piece of green felt, and this is going to make the lettuce in the taco. So set it flush against the edge and then cut a curvy line just past the edge of the taco shell felt. This is gonna make it look like the lettuce is sort of sticking out over the edge and cut it from one side all the way to the other. If you wanna cut out the excess felt underneath the taco shell, you can, but I just left mine on one side. Then use the rest of your leftover green felt to do the same for the other taco shell. 
Then take your dark brown felt and cut inch or inch and a half wide strips out of it. This is going to make the meat of the taco. Depending on how big you made the taco shell, you may need more than one overlapping to make the full arch along the top of the taco shell. Then take these two pieces and overlap them in the center, glue them together with some Fabri-Tac. Then do a strip of Fabri-Tac down the center, take another one of your strips and scrunch it up along that line of glue. This is going to make sort of a bumpy effect, this is going to look like the meat in the taco. And you may need two or three strips to do this whole piece. I just did some bunched up around the center so that it would be sticking up over the top portion of the taco. Make sure you use some Fabri-Tac to attach the lettuce pieces to the taco shells. You just need a little bit to hold it in place. And then you'll want to take the meat piece that you just made and adhere it to the inside of the taco shell on the opposite side of the lettuce piece. Put a large bead of Fabri-Tac and press it into place. And then once that has had a chance to dry a tiny bit, you can go ahead and cut down the center of that meat piece. I recommend doing this now and not earlier because it will have given it a chance to dry a little bit and have all those pieces holding onto each other firmly before you dislodge anything. Then glue that other piece of the meat strip onto the other side of the taco shell and you should have two somewhat identical pieces. Then take your red piece of felt and cut a long strip off of one side and cut that strip into little squares. These are going to make your tomato pieces to sprinkle on the top of the taco. And then once you've cut those, take your yellow piece of felt or you can use a white piece of felt if you prefer and cut some really skinny strips off of one side of it. And once you've cut a whole bunch of those strips, as many as you want, cut those into smaller pieces to make up your shredded cheese. Then take the band that's going around the belly of the dog and close it up and fold it over so that the portion that's going along the dog's spine is facing up. Put a couple inch wide strip of glue down the center of that and then scrunch some more of that meat colored felt onto it. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look a little bit textured and interesting. Then you can glue some pieces of your cheese felt and tomato felt onto the top of that, doing it completely at random to make it look interesting, and then do the same thing with both of your taco pieces. Do some on the outside and some on the inside, and then apply a generous amount of Fabri-Tac on either side of the belly band and adhere the two taco shells to the outside of it with the meat on each side of the taco shell overlapping the meat on the center of the band. And that's all there is to it. Here is what the completed costume looks like. I think Pancho looks best in this one and it's my personal favorite. But if you actually make this costume for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see it because I love how this one turned out. For this next one, you need adhesive felt, two pieces of regular black felt, and a textured piece of black felt, black pipe cleaners, scissors, Fabri-Tac, measuring tape, and Velcro. Start by taking your adhesive piece of black felt and putting a piece of regular black felt on top of it, and then cut the two out into a large oval with one on top of the other so that they're making identical ovals. Then take another piece of your regular black felt and cut a couple of strips that are about two and a half to three inches wide. Take two pipe cleaners, cut those in half. Take two more pipe cleaners and cut about a third off of them. Set the short ends aside for later. Peel the adhesive off of your stiff black felt and adhere the four short pipe cleaners onto the side of it. Then take your two longer pipe cleaners that you cut a third off of and put them angling slightly towards one side of the oval. Then take your regular piece of black felt and put it on top of your adhesive felt. Before you press it into place, take each of the belly bands that you cut and put one on one side between a short leg and a long leg, and the other on the other side between a short leg and a long leg. Then you'll want to adhere the top layer of regular felt to the top layer of the belly band, and press the rest in place onto that adhesive felt. Take a scrap of your black felt and cut a little circle or oval out of it to go on top of the dog's head. Cut one piece and then use it as a template to cut a second piece out of the same scrap. And then cut a couple of strips out of that same scrap that are roughly an inch wide. 
And again, none of this has to be perfect, so you don't even necessarily have to measure these super well. Then take those two scraps of pipe cleaner you set aside, set them on one of your circles with the strap sticking out the same side, and press that extra top oval into place. And of course, finish it off with your Velcro pieces. And that is the little hat portion. Next, you'll want to make sure you've measured around the belly of the dog and add two inches to that measurement and make sure that belly band is cut to that measurement. Then you're ready to take your textured piece of felt and cut out the outer exoskeleton of the flea. These can be any kind of shape you want. They're just to add another panel on top of the costume because fleas have a whole bunch of panels on their exoskeleton. And then finish it off with your Velcro strips. Again, I'm doing again I'm doing loops on one side, hooks on the other, and one side of Velcro is facing up, and the other side of Velcro is facing down, so that when you wrap it around the dog, they'll actually be able to adhere to each other. And that is the finished flea costume. I think out of all of the costumes, Pancho disliked this one the most. It might have been the hat with the little pincers on it. We'll never really know. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and head over to Nick and Poncho's channel to watch a behind the scenes video on the making of this dog costume DIY video. Make sure you subscribe to their channel as well. And if you make any of these, tag me on Instagram at Katrinaosity. The last but not the least. The flea. This might be the weirdest thing I've done for YouTube. <laughs>